Hey there, we are going to some new territory here in this video. Um, we're continuing our study of music from the movies, and how could I not include Purple Rain? I bet you never thought that you could play Prince on the ukulele. You totally can, because we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna play this song in the key of A. Um, let's zoom in and double check what chords we're working with uh, in this one. We're playing Purple Rain in the key of A, so I've got my pointer finger on the first fret of C and my middle finger on the second fret of G. Uh, that's our A chord, sounds like that. To get to F sharp minor, I'm just gonna add my ring finger to that chord there to the second fret of E. So take that same A shape, add the ring finger for F sharp minor. Then uh, we've got the D chord, D straight across, um, we've found, we've played that plenty of times before, but just a quick review. Pointer, finger, middle, and ring are all in the second fret of G, C, and E, respectively. Sounds like that. And E7, from that D chord, we're gonna kinda open up like a book. Leave that middle finger where it is on the second fret of C, but open up, you're gonna take your pointer finger to the, uh, to the first fret of G, and then your ring finger comes back to the second fret of A. And it sounds like that, and that's what you'll need. Okay, next let's talk about uh, strum patterns and chord progressions. First of all, this song is kind of, um, it's sort of a slow song. The words aren't slow per se. They're kind of all rushed in a row leading up to the next, uh, to the next bar. But as far as the chords go, we're going to keep it nice and slow. And one of the ways we're going to really let the, the chords ring out here is to use what I call a march strum. And I call it that because it sounds sort of like, you know, war drums, bum. Bum, 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 bum. That's the rhythm we're going for. Ba, 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 ba. So you're gonna let it really ring out on that first beat. times where you're gonna see me um, like for example when uh, you get to the end of the chorus we're on the E7 chord only wanted to see you happen in the purple rain so kind of leading up to that you're gonna see me bring in more beats right I'm not gonna stick with the march drum all the way through it um, so you can kind of experiment with that as you like but for the most part in the verses I'm gonna leave it leave it open um, and sort of have some flexibility in there depending on how I feel like playing the song and you are welcome to do that too. As far as chord progressions go, um, we've got a verse pattern and a chorus pattern and luckily the song is so slow moving that it should be fairly easy to follow. Let's take a look at verse one um, and we're gonna try the A, one, two, ready, and A, then F sharp minor, and then D, all two bars each. Then we go back to A, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, F sharp minor, two, three, four, one. Then we go to E7, here's a little change here. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, back to A. And then you hold it, because we're going to, uh, transition into the chorus. We're going to hold it for a whole eight beats. Uh, let's just sing that part and then we're going to move right into the chorus so you hear how that transitions. Back to E7, last line of verse one. Ready and I only wanted to see you laughing in the purple rain. Purple rain to deep purple rain. Again, there's lots of room in this song for silences, for long drawn out chords. It's just kind of the kind of the gist of the whole thing. So watch out for that at the end of the chorus. We play that A chord and we just 
sit on it for eight beats before we get back into the verse. So those two patterns are fairly consistent. Um, what we're going to do at the end is play, um, so we're going to do verse one, chorus, verse one, chorus, and then we're going to sing the chorus again. And that'll be the end of it. It's a slightly uh, shorter version of it because, as we know, Prince loves to go off on these mad guitar solos, which we're going to let him do um, in his songs. But as far as our sing-along goes, we're just going to keep it, keep it to that. Um, and as a reminder, if you don't, I've been looking at this chord chart here. If you don't uh, have one from class, you can download one on my website. When you are ready, we're going to move along and just play through the whole thing. Here we go. All right, I'm starting on my A chord here, and we're just going to start off with a vamp on that march strum. Here we go. back and use any part of this video that you need at any time. I also always like to encourage you to play it on your own without the video so you really feel like you learn and know the song from the inside out. But either way, hope you enjoyed it and I'll look forward to uh, seeing you in another video soon. Thanks so much!